I tried to get in the driver's side and I couldn't. So I jumped in the passenger side and she's just sitting there looking at me. Melissa Talley recalls finding her daughter unresponsive just a few minutes down the road from her home. On Sunday night, 18-year-old Kenda Talley and her brother Jordan made their way down this road to purchase Christmas lights for their tree. Sadly, they never made it to their destination. Another car was coming from the opposite direction and hit a deer and it flew through the front windshield. I had my seat laid back and I was asleep and it hit Kenda. And she died upon impact. Fortunately, her brother Jordan survived. Well, the seatbelt scratched me right here, and then I got a broke nose, and my nose broke on both sides, and I got a broke forearm. The irony is that Kenda actually had a well-known love for deer. The day before her accident, Kenda and her mother decided to do something in reference to that love. She begged me to go get a matching tattoo, which, you know, I like tattoos, but I don't like deer. But she loved it. So I agreed to it. And then the next day, that's what killed her, was the deer. When Kenda died, she was wearing a hoodie and necklace that had the same symbol she had tattooed on her the day before. Loved ones say that besides that love of deer Kenda so ardently possessed, she also had a love for people. To know her is to love her. You didn't know Kenda, not love her. Her mother and aunt say they will always remember Kenda the way she was, a smart, happy-go-lucky girl. <laughs> she could light up the darkest day. <laughs> and I was, I loved her so much. Just that I love her. I mean, there was nobody like her. She could make you smile when you thought the world was ending. Reporting from White Pine, Alex Shelton.